Welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we'll be doing a summoning session on the Ninja Wavering Banner. Um, my goal is just to get one copy of Legion Fjorm, mostly because Fjorm is here. Otherwise, I would have probably skipped this banner. I also have a lot of stuff to redeem on, so I will be doing that. Um, since she is blue, I'm going to be sniping. Um, I don't, I'm not really interested in all the other units, so um, hopefully I can get her relatively soon. So yeah, I will be sniping, and my off color will be red, green, uh, in that priority. So red before green. All right. Uh, so yeah, uh, I was not planning on summoning on this banner. I was planning on skipping it, just like I skipped all the both ninja banners before, just because. Um. I wasn't that interested on it, but once I saw Fjorm in this banner, then I had to summon. Luckily, she's the backup unit, I guess, like the secondary unit on this. Um, so I'm not interested in plastering her, but I just wanted this one copy that we got right here. Thank you for showing up early and saving orbs. Now I can actually... I can save that for the, um, oh, okay, this is not bad, plus attack is really good, maybe I could switch from HP to minus uh, speed, but plus attack is really good. Uh, okay, so I got what I wanted out of this banner, literally the only thing I wanted out of this banner. So I'm just going to uh, redeem on everything else. Uh, for this, of course, um, there's no point on going anyone other than Idun. Yeah, Kath is the four star, and I guess Nime, I don't have her, so I guess if no blue will go colorless. So yeah, we start with no blue, but I'm only summoning for uh, the free summonings on this banner. Uh, this month there is no mythic banner, so I don't have to worry about the legendary banner at the end of the month. Which means I might actually just summon on the remix banner that is live right now. Try to get a couple of um, copies of units there. Mostly... Uh, mythics, so the mythics that are in this banner is Yune in air but i already plus 10 air so any airs that i get from now on will just be for mystic boost and uh, attack rest unity okay um we got it done so this is a lot luckier than i expected to get i expected to just to get nothing out of these tickets like i usually do uh, but yeah, we got it done. And we still have two tickets to go. So we'll just finish getting these tickets. We'll still go blue just because Idun is still the best unit in this banner. Uh, even uh, if we don't get another one, it's still better than... Uh, there's still plenty of good units on blue for fodder. So... Yeah, I mean, whatever shows up doesn't really matter. I got a dune, I got a free dune, and I was able to get Fjorm relatively quickly. So as far as summoning, I am good. That's really all I wanted. All right, um, I guess the rarest unit in this banner is Hector. Um, if not, then we'll go colorless for Fallen Corin, so red colorless. Uh yeah, out of this refines Hector's refine is okay. Um Corin's Well it's not practical. I do like it that it's different. So that's all we can say about it. Um 
all of these units are four stars. Um, I don't know. I'll go. I'll go. Carell. Carell was. I think. The first uh, five star exclusive that I got because the first five star unit that I got in this game was, um, on my very first summoning circle when the game just started, I got a five star male Robin. So on this one, I was gonna go Nyla, but I guess I'll go uh, Valoria. But yeah, a Robin was my very first five star unit in this game. Um, he used to be a five star and a four star. Wow. Um, I guess summoning early in the morning is good luck because this is just ridiculous. I did not expect to get anything at all. But yeah. Um, so this is a remix banner. I'm going to hold on to this one just right now and summon this ninja banner. Um, obviously we'll go Ninja Lin. Um, I do have Seahard. I guess Navar is the only one I don't have. I do have a uh, Levatain and Lin. Hi, it took me s like this year is supposed to be the four star special, and I spent so many orbs just to get one copy of him because I wanted two copies of him for Ninja Katana. One that I gave to Miravelous and one to keep. But it took me so many orbs just to get a single copy of him. Like, my luck with four star specials is just non existent. I have such a bad luck with like four star specials in this kind of banners that sometimes I just. I think they're harder to get than the actual units. Okay, so this is. I'm not sure what's happening here. Uh, I think I just burned the entire, all the rest of the luck for the entire year. Yeah, I think my luck for the entire year is done. Um, hold on. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll look at her when I go over here. But uh, yeah, so maybe I should just summon on this right now just to not waste my extremely weird luck uh it is 162 uh spark um the only one that i have a plus 10 is of course air i do need three more ephraims and i believe four more ikes to finish them too uh, both Yune and Azura, I believe, are plus one or plus two. And Elliwood is unmerged because it took forever just to get a single copy of him. And Rhea does have bracing stands. I mean, f as far as fodder outside of near save, Rhea isn't that good for fodder. I mean, as a unit, she is amazing, but as fodder, she's outside on your save, not that great. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should actually just spark on this banner. Um, we did get very lucky. Hold on, let's take a look at um, how they are, my mythics are at this moment. Well, my units are at this moment. Like I said, Ephraim is a plus seven, so only three of him to go. Uh, that's Mira. Um, not. So, unit is plus two. And so is Azura. So yeah, Yune and Azura are plus two. Elwood actually is plus one. Okay. So those are the legendaries and mythics of this banner. You know what? Um, let's do it. 
we're just gonna spark for whatever we need. We'll go full circles on this one because um, merges. <laughs> wow. Uh, Elliewood. I don't know. Maybe there'll be an Elliewood in these ones with all the luck we've been getting. But we get Sore Heart. Sore Heart. Um, I wonder if he'll get a refine. Because original Reinhardt is not getting a refine. I think they they don't want certain units to ever be back, like, fully. So they're just not going to give them a refine. Like, Hector and Reinhardt. They just want to delete those units from history. Pretend it never happened. I guess the... If they had gotten a refine earlier, it would have been fine. They would have gotten, like, the Takumi treatment, which, at the beginning of the game, Takumi, Hector, were some of the most powerful units, and Takumi got such a bad refine. He literally got, like, pass as his refine, which is just terrible. So maybe they, they just don't want to give Hector a refine just because... At this point, if they give him a refine, they have to give him something better than, like, just quick repose three. And considering all the other Hectors, they have they given like attack defense, uh, inflict attack defense minus six during combat, um, all of the other things that all the other Hectors have. And they have to give him like guarantee follow up attack instead of quick repose now. So yeah, they missed their chance at giving him a refine, and they're probably just ignoring them, like they do with all the dancers and healers that don't have a special weapon. Oh, this is my first Riken. Okay, I don't have a Rick. This is the first Riken we got in. Cool. But yeah, um, as far as, as the banner that is dropping uh, very soon, the Tiki banner, well, the um, Ascended Tiki and, well, the banner is Ganglord and more. So is Ganglord and a couple of, I believe they're all from New Mystery of the Emblem. All right, we got Elliewood. Not bad. Plus speed. That's fine. But yeah. Uh, so. Out of those units. Um, Ganglord of course. Being a rearm hero. Uh, has a lot of value. As all rearm heroes do. Just because of their. Ability to pass on. Any fodder that they have. And still be able to keep it for themselves. So being like skill banks uh, makes them really good. Um, units. So on that sense, Ganglod um, is a good unit to summon for. Especially if you have something that can use her weapon. Like if you're building any kind of uh, green axe. Well, all axes are green. So any kind of axe unit. Uh other than, like, the one I'm building right now is female chess. But female chess already has a pref weapon, and she has a pretty good one to boot. So, for her, I don't need Ganglot's weapon uh, for when I build her. But if you're building something else, like maybe... Um, Ninja Shamir. If you already have a Buana Plus 10 and just want to give her a better weapon, um, Ninja Shamir works. Uh, Ninja Hana, they're basically the same unit. Uh, let me see what else we got. We have... I believe this weapon uh, should work better on fast units than slow units just because it doesn't... It, it's not like the other... Um, two weapons that we got in that had the 
a follow-up attack. So, for Gangloss weapon, I will give it to a fast unit as opposed to a slow unit. So, there are not a lot of fast green, um, I say green again, there are not a lot of fast axe units that we got in lately, aside from like, again, Ninja Shamir, in Chess, which again, she has her own weapon, so she's on a completely separate um, category from this. But if you have, like, for Axe units, I mean, armor units, oh, there's Chess, another one for merging. All right. Um, one unit that will benefit a lot from this weapon is if you have her build up, Amelia. Just because Amelia's weapon is not that great, it just gives her... Uh, speed defense plus five whenever she has a buff or a or a bonus like armor march or whatever like a bonus status or a buff on her she is able to get she is able to get a Uh, speed defense plus five, which is not a lot. She does have the weapon at least has slain effect, so on that front, it's not bad. But definitely would be a huge upgrade for Amelia if you if she's one of the units you're using. M Amelia is also fast, so relatively speaking, like she's not, let's say, Valentine's Lucina level of fast, but. For an older unit, she does have good speed. So for her, that weapon would be as just an upgrade, 100%. Uh, let me see. I guess we go this way. Um, but yeah. Think, uh, so I don't... Think there's that many green actions. I say green again. There's that many actions that you can uh, can make a great use, like fully use up um, Gangloss weapon. But for many of them, it's just an upgrade, especially those that don't have a that don't have a special a preference weapon, like seasonals and stuff like that so any unit like that will benefit just because it's just one of the best weapons available for them but unlike well i think as of right now um arcane luthier which is um leaf's weapon is by far the most widely usable like it has a lot of uses to the most amount of units um arcane grima being of course a dragon weapon okay we get gustav fallen gustav uh which he is potentially just attacks attack smoke four And I guess you can pass attack smoke four near trace or attack smoke four and attack defense catch. So yeah, um, definitely will keep him in mind for any unit that I'm building up that might need that. Uh, but what was I? Oh yeah, so arcane green mom being of course locked to dragons there's a couple of older dragons that can use it especially the ones that got refines early on so they don't have really um their weapons are outdated very far a eh, very much by today's standards so on those uh, on that, I guess it is. It has plenty of units that can use it. Just 
I don't know if you want to use that unit that can use it. And the axe, which is what Ganglord has, which we already talked about plenty. Uh, I would be interested to see what the next one will be. Um, will they go lance or will they go bow? Will we get a a staff? Um, I think a staff would be the most interesting to see what they do. Basilio. Fortunately, Basilio is kind of slow. Same thing with um, uh, Bathos. They're kind of slow, so I don't think they make as good use as other units. But they don't have a prep weapon, so they are options if you want to give it to them. All right, um, we got two more circles to go through. Actually, do I even have enough orbs? I didn't even check, so. Uh, the, uh, the tools for stopping is like right on top of the orbs, so <laughs> I haven't been keeping track of it. Uh, yeah, once this clears up, we'll see how many orbs we got. In Tiki, Tiki seems to be a little controversial with people just because it is another young Tiki alt. Oh, yeah, we have enough orbs to summon. So, being another young Tiki alt has people a little annoyed, uh, especially the fact that this Tiki just decided to steal a uh, brave. Adult Tiki's weapon, um, one of her niche, like the her whole thing of Adult Tiki is being able to stop specials that are pre-charged. And here comes Young Tiki doing the same thing. And on top of that, she has like a breath effect on her weapon. And she has like damage reduction on her weapon and on her C skill. So it's go it's gonna be interesting to see what her stats uh, spread is like because uh young Tiki may have just killed adult Tiki and adult Tiki just came out being one of the a really good um choose your legends unit so yeah the young Tiki favoritism is a lot. Especially because in if they ever give us another uh, Tokyo Mirage Session banner, they will 100% include Tokyo Mirage Session Tiki on it. And I don't know how well that will go because she's kind of like young Tiki on that game as well. So she is a little different than than the tikis that we have on game but it will still just be young tikis so i don't know how people will feel about it um i didn't get an air or anything it's kind of disappointing i did want it one i would have liked to have gotten one for mystic boost all right, can I get a five star here to close out the circle? Especially because we're now like a nine percent. No, nope, just an elk. All right, we'll save up this for later on. As for who am I going with? I didn't get a single Elliewood or Uni. Well, I mean, I got an Elliewood. I mean, Ephraim. I didn't get a single Ephraim. Unit, what did we get anyway? Rarity, all right. So, out of this banner, we have one, two, and three. Well, not as good as the other banners, but and this one doesn't even count. So, technically, we only got two, and they were pretty early on, too. So, um. I guess I'll go with Yune. 
I like to have merges on my defense mythics. So Enchi's the aside from air, which we already plus ten, the only other mythic. So yeah, we'll go with Yune. Hopefully we pick up uh, Ephraims along the way as he comes back on these banners or around these banners. But for now, this will be the end of the summoning session. Um, we spent just about as many ores as I thought we might spend just trying to get Fjorm in. So I'm not disappointed on the amount of units that we got on the Remix banner, especially because everything else was really good. Been able to get Legion really easily. A free Dune, a free Veloria, and a free Lin, which is just ridiculous. Uh, Reinhardt, Elliewood, Gustav, and Yune. And we even got an extra chest and our first Rickon. So, all in all, not bad. Uh, but yeah, I... Let me know if you summon on the on the ninja banner were you able to get what you wanted out of it and are you planning on summoning on the um rearm ganglot banner but yeah with all this being said uh thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time bye